Introducing first, Davey of the Wall. Davey Richards. All right. I like this guy. Yes, one of those tag teams that are just a cut above. No doubt about it. I, I remember the night that we announced that the Wolves were joining TNA. And Taz, you don't often go out on a limb and give someone that stamp of credibility like you did when you called the tag team of the Wolves legit. Well, they are. I mean, it's pretty well documented uh, throughout the world. I mean, especially in the United States, obviously. But these guys, uh, it's only one of them right now, David Richards. Eddie Edwards is not out here. Maybe he'll be his partner. That would be great for them. But definitely, to me, a tremendous, awesome tag team here at Impact Wrestling. And now, introducing his tag team partner. Look at those hips. Chrissy's on way to talk about JP. Eddie from the Wolves. Oh, <laughs> just that's like you called it. Holy cow, how lucky. Well, you talk about a huge edge, major advantage. And in terms of a bonus for the fans, to be able to see the Wolves together in this Joker's Wild one night only tag team event. Oh, man. Advantage Wolves. I mean, you got to figure whoever they're facing. Luck of the draw, and it worked out. Yeah, let's see in terms of the luck of the draw, who the Wolves draw as the opposition. And now, introducing their opponents. First of all, Bobby Roode. She's shaping up to be a hell yes. of a tag match. You're not kidding. The it factor, Bobby Roode, to face the Wolves and just in terms of, of that, not even knowing who his tag team partner is going to be, he already just sensed the anticipation that this is going to be something special. Well, Bobby Roode, uh, arguably one of the greatest in the world today. And uh, I gotta say, depending on who his partner is, the Wolves might have their hands full. I, I thought whoever came out here, the Wolves are going to just guzzle up and eat up. Once you got one half of those guys, it's rude. That's a great thing. I always think about Bobby Roode's career as one of those individuals who really established themselves as a tag team wrestler and, and one of the best, but then was able to transition so smoothly into being a main event, top-notch, world heavyweight champion level singles competitor. No, I totally agree. There's no doubt about that. I mean, he just had success in both ranks. Bobby Roode is so systematic, so systematically sound and technically sound. Veteran, but yet young. Prime of his uh, career here. Well, who's his partner going to be? Let's find out. Let's go, JB. Why don't you tell us, Jabron? What's the holdup? And now, introducing his tag team partner. Okay. <laughs> oh, you got to be Sorry. kidding me. About your damn luck. I guess it's a night of reunion. Oh, man. Beer money back together. Okay, let me get this straight. We got beer money versus the Wolves. That's, that's a dream tag team. Oh. There's confirmation that they have phones in the UK. Yeah, they work like all phones. They can take video and mm -hmm. snapshots. Very interesting here. These people out, around here in this country are pretty uh, on par with us as Americans. As my Twitter is blowing up as we speak with people hating me. You're not kidding. You're going to get buried. That's okay. I love them all. They know. My UK, UK family. <laughs> I love you all, mates. Yeah, familia. <laughs> <laughs> there he is, Whoa. the drunk. Whoa, did you get a little spray there? <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. I stopped looking it off the table. The show's almost over. Let's see, can these two men work as a unit? That's the question. All of that great success. Because I can answer the question that the Wolves are going to be able to work together. This thing got real interesting once Storm came out as it was pulled out of that raffle basket, whatever the hell that thing's called. A raffle basket? Yeah, a raffle basket leaderboard. Can I just call it a drum? Spin the drum. Raffle basket for the qualifying leaderboard. Touch them all. <laughs> Touch. <laughs> it's 
So we got Davey Richards. Looks like he's going to be the first for the Wolves. Maybe. You know, you know if there's that, that one tag team, as I've watched the Wolves over the course of the past several years, if there's the one tag team that I, that I draw parallels to, and I'm curious to see what you think about this, especially in reference to the fact we're in the United Kingdom, Wolves remind me so much of the British Bulldog. Oh, I agree completely. Both in terms of look and in terms of their yeah. in-ring style. Well, I think, I think it's more... Uh, Davey Richards reminds me of the Dynamite Kid. Yep. I mean, I think that's even, a big Even part facially, of it. right? Yeah, he does. He does. Dynamite Kid was one of the greatest of all time for those that... I've never heard of Dynamite Kid along with Davey Boy Smith, the British Bulldogs. So. And, and if you're talking British Bulldogs, you're talking top handful of the greatest tag teams no, of all time. No doubt. Enough said. You don't no even doubt. need to say anymore. So for us just to draw those parallels and to put the Wolves in the conversation with them, I think it shows you what both Taz and I think of the Wolves as a team. Yes. Nice drop to hold to a front face lock. Good counter by David Richards. Quick counter. So kind of a catch as catch can here. Floating back over to the side headlock. Good job by Bobby Root. You know, Mike, he's so, he's got such good balance for a big guy. Like Bobby's a big dude. His hips are very quick for a man his size. Nice quick tag to Eddie, huh? And off the drop toe hold, the great double teamwork as Richards in tight hits the drop kick right into the head and face. Leads to the Eddie Edwards cover. So we, we've drawn parallels with the Wolves and the British Bulldogs. The one wrestler I always think of is Rude Tags into Storm. And Gonna see a little beer money double team attempt. Oh, that didn't work too well. Dual drop kick, one leg each by Edwards. That one wrestler that I think of when I think about Bobby Roode is Kurt Hennig. Oh yeah, I definitely could see that for sure. Um, I definitely agree with you on that, and that's another great compliment to someone like Roode, because Henning was one of the greatest ever. I had the opportunity uh, to wrestle Kurt Henning before, and uh, he's just a tremendous, uh, one, one of the greatest ever. Mr. Perfect. And I think Bobby Roode definitely uh, falls into that category. And but as a team, I think the, that beer money, you know, Storm and Roode, they don't remind me of anyone as a team. They're their own True. entity. You know, they their own, you know, they really niche their own deal. It's kind of like the way Team 3D was, you know, for example. You know, like kind of their own thing. You, know? you, look, you look at the history of TNA, and of course, I, I pointed out on many occasions that I think that, that James Storm off the knee drop here by Roode, who gets a two count. James Storm qualifies to me above and beyond as the best tag team wrestler in the history of this TNA organization. Yeah, well, and, and, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm just going to say, and it's not often that you can follow up having a relationship with somebody like Chris Harris and America's Most Wanted for so many years as a top-level tag team and then transition to a team with Bobby Roode like Beer Money and have not only the same success, but even greater success. It's, it's, there's no doubt. If you could have that type of success with not one but two partners like Storm has done, I mean, to your point, uh, how do you argue with it? James Storm arguably one of the greatest tag team wrestlers ever in our modern day, I should say, right? Agree. Beer Money stacked up in the corner. And here he comes, full speed with the kick. High round kick to the face by Davey Richards. Oh, oh, and Eddie with the kick from the outside for Rude. Oh, careful. Look at Wait a minute. Please, no, no. You don't need to go down the broke back mountain road. No, what? Just so you know. Back. Huh? Very weird. This, this this whole arena, a lot of weird stuff happened. Well, that's it's like the idea. World. You're, you're in Birmingham. <laughs> Freaks. Freaks. But it turns into a freak one world here. <laughs> freak! <laughs> Get the gimp! <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, I'm freaking out myself. <laughs> Pulp Fiction. <laughs> oh! Whoa! What a rocking kick by the cowboy into the face of Davy Richards. Throughout this event, we've been talking about people that you teamed with throughout your career. Yes. I love when we talk about me. I know. That's why I'm bringing it back around again, because I know it'll make you happy. Davey Richards not too happy right now. As a guy that you teamed with, as we've been to watch Root here go for the pin, it took a long time to make the cover, and maybe it cost him. Somebody that you teamed with on a couple of occasions. I, I can't really give you a, an absolute number, but... Cushing Professor. Hold on, another cover. pin attempt here by Root. I, put I, don't, don't have, I, don't, I don't have a scrapbook of every match you've competed in. But 
38 year career. Mike, is there a point? But could you get to it? I'm going to. We've got all night. Why, uh, yeah. why, why rush into it? Because I know I know you like when I talk about you, so I'm just drawing out the level of anticipation. Talk about Storm destroying David Ritz. We're going to talk about People me. can see that. I know, I know. Why, why state the obvious when we're having a nice conversation? Uh, what do you say? We're not calling radio lines. What about Raven? You teamed what with him. What about Raven? You, you teamed with him. I can't give you the number. Not many times, right? I missed the joke. You said, what about Raven? I got I said, it. I, I missed Raven. the joke. Oh, allow me to laugh now. <laughs> <laughs> Raven was the toughest guy to team with for me. I can imagine. But the, when I think about the team of Taz and Raven, I think about the basis for this Joker's Wild event. Good point. Two two guys that you wouldn't think about teaming, but we did team with them a few times. Yeah, we did. Now, when we had success, you know, um, it was tough. I mean, we, we, we were, again, different guys. What's the parallel? I'm different to everyone. Uh, and I have a hard time getting along with people. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Pretty much been the same in terms of your announcing <laughs> career, if you <laughs> think about it. Is the exact same thing. And every guy's name is Mike. <laughs> Why do I work with every guy is Mike? <laughs> and every one of them you just don't get along I with. I know. One guy had the first name was good. Good old. Good old. Right. So so now good. You, you and him just got along great. Good old JR. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but, but his, name, for his name is not Mike. His first name is good. Good now, old JR. Think of the other guys. I'm thinking of three right off the top of my head. Mike, Mike, and Mike. The best one was Mike Adams. That was no offense to you, Mike. No, well, well, you know, I, I can't, I don't even want to put myself in that, in no, that, yeah. that same lead. Not with Mike Adams. Come on. You have to tie at least four or five sentences together. Which you <laughs> <laughs> maybe you'd like, maybe maybe in, in 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 memory of your announcing relationship with Mike Adamley, you'd like to take over some play by play here. Well, I tell you what, I can't wait to see Jeff Harvey again uh, in the <laughs> TNA ring. I can tell you that. <laughs> Nicely done, just oh. like that. Oh, how about that? Yes, a, a drop kick. <laughs> then had Storm lay out Rude. Wow. Well, you got to try. Stone's got to try to keep Davey from tagging in Eddie Rich. Uh, Eddie uh, Edwards, I should say. You got to be careful. And it's exactly what he does. It's that tag team experience of the Cowboy that, well, prevents at least to that point the tag. Free leg kick away, dive, and Eddie Edwards is leaving. Good job by Eddie. See, Eddie Edwards did not waste any time. He came in hard with that clothesline and keeps the momentum going of those running strikes. Good job. Oh, telegraph of the back body drop, cost him with the big kick. Oh, oh, but then Rude gets taken off the apron. Chopped to the chest, Storm. Like this Eddie Edwards, too, man. He's got a very good style. They complement, meaning the Wolves, they complement each other's style very well. They watch Head each other's backs. <laughs> chop after chop in the corner. Oh. Nicely done by Storm. Got the boot uh -oh. up. Oh, Cowboys got him. Hit. Wait. Oh, oh! Instead, the Cowboy gets oh, look at rocked this, Mike. with the look kick. Look at this. Look at this. Got the leg seized. Turn oh. around. Drives him straight down. This could do it. Oh, that was close. That was cool, man. That'll rock your spine right there. See some frustration here from Eddie Edwards. And Eddie figured once he hit the big time move out of the corner. It was going to be elimination of beer money and that the Wolves would move on to the gauntlet. Not the case, but now maybe this double team will work. Ooh. Nice, kick back to the German head. from the yeah, kick. Yeah, the bridge. Oh, this. then the follow through. And I've seen that before. That was excellent. He did that. slides in just to save the team of beer money. That was beautifully done. Yeah, the cohesiveness of the Wolves is just uncanny, really. It's great stuff. Motion so fluid, but right now, Rude gonna try. Oh, he was gonna snap the neck of Richards. Instead, able to catch uh -oh, him. Uh oh, oh, The backstabber there leads to the spine buster from Rude. Well, a couple years experience on the Wolves, these two dudes right here in beer money, so that's the advantage. A little beer money suplex, Mike. So, waiting for the crowd in Birmingham to recognize. As Storm and Rude with their patented beer money suplex, they got it together for one night. Could be time for a last call. Storm firing up. I still remember. We sure do. <laughs> Oh, look at those knees. Great job. Stop Eddie Edwards. 
at the double team. And then Great it's job. Richards off the top with the missile drop kick to take Storm out of play. Now the Wolves Whoa. have cleared the ring. Both Storm and Rude outside. And the Wolves have them in their sights. Ah, it seems like the uh, the kind of people were torn between these teams, but it seems like Beer Money's the fan favorites. Nicely done with the double suicide dive from the Wolves. Gotta love the offense of the Wolves in this tag team matchup, but they just haven't been able to put the moves together that give them the three count or give them the yeah, submission win over Beer good. Money. Could be the case now, though, as Eddie Edwards has a day's storm. And I agree with the audience here, Mike. They were, they were screaming, this is awesome, and I totally agree with that. I kind of blew off what you were saying because you were annoying me a little bit. That happens. You know that it's, it's an announcer named Mike. Watch the Wolves. Here he comes. Oh! Boom, boom, first from Edwards, then from Richards. Edwards is legal, and Brian oh, Hebner wow. counts three, and the Wolves have done it. What a great win for their resume. Ladies Look and gentlemen, the winners of the match and advancing to the gauntlet battle royal. Awesome to Eddie Edwards and Davey Richards to capture a gigantic win on beer money. I, I understand that they, 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 now they advance to the Gauntlet. I get uh, everything we're doing here, but on the resume. On the resume, exactly. Career maker. In many instances, people would look at that win. Well, in defense to beer money, let's not to make excuses, but you know, look, they have not teamed together as a unit, and there have been issues between the both men, Rude and Storm. So where the Wolves have been definitely... The I, I don't think you can unit. discount the victory by the Wolves because Storm and Rude, for most of this match, they were on the same page. I'm with you in terms of the fact that they so haven't the came together recently. Kinda, you know, I mean, that's what I mean. It's just not the chemistry, but I think there's definitely respect amongst both well, teams. Let's see if there is respect among both teams. They come face to face. Definitely respect from the crowd here in Birmingham towards both of these teams. And the company in general. I mean, it's the company putting on a, a, you know, a, a spectacle, a match like that. I think, I think that's so special. It's that stamp of credibility. It's, it's the fact that I think Beer Money feels like we've put these guys on the map. Pass the torch. That's it, baby.